Okay, so now we're going to move into the pentacles and we start, of course, with the ace, uh, the one. Um, if I was to see this in someone's spread, I would be very confident to say that a job is going to be offered to them or some opportunity where there is an exchange of money because the pentacles indicate money, things, all, all things related to security uh, and physical compensation uh, for the most part. So an ace of pentacles is a new job, uh, a new venture. Um, the two of pentacles, again, often when I've seen this in my spread over the years, I'm juggling circumstances, juggling finances, uh, I'm juggling something, but I'm doing so successfully. Uh, and so, but it's a two, it's just a momentary um, shift or momentary, uh, I don't want to call it like a blip while you're in between the next phase of your development. But it's really a juggling. If you see this next to the hanged man, you can get a sense of timing that within a very short period of time, uh, situations will resolve positively. The three of pentacles, again, similarly to the three of wands, we see a building here. We see that we're accumulating, that we're making progress. Uh, this next to the wheel of fortune, again, talks about positivity and uh, really staying on purpose and on track with what you're building and what you're doing. You are accumulating. It's not a huge amount, but you're accumulating positivity uh, financially and other ways. The four of pentacles is a positive card in some ways, but it does it does give us the sense that we're a little bit too focused just on the money. We're focused, we're too focused on the material. Maybe we're a little bit out of balance. Sometimes this happens when we might have a fast accumulation of wealth, and then we forget to stay centered in what's true and just get focused on financial or whatnot. Um so this this does caution us about selfishness. It does caution us about uh, hyper focus on the wrong thing. But it, it indicates that we're doing okay financially, or that money is coming quickly. The five of pentacles, like all fives, scattered energies. Not we're in the middle of something, and we can't quite see our ways out of it. And this card really paints the picture of. You know, the money's not doing well. I mean, these people are out in the snow. One person's on crutches. I mean, and they're not dressed very warmly, right? So, so this is not a pleasant moment. Um, so that's just kind of how it is often with fives. It's not pleasant, but it is a five. And so soon we'll shift over into the six. And this is truly one of the most positive cards in the deck, the six of pentacles. Not only does it mean that you have crossed over, that now you're no longer in lack, but now you have an abundance of money. And I think in seeing this person actually give coins to the beggars on the street indicates that they have excess and they feel that they can do that. And of course, you see the scales, that the, the balance has been restored and then some. And of course, reminder with all sixes, balance is sort of the name of the day, the name of the, the day, the game with that, with these uh, numbers. Now, if you put the six of pentacles next to the star, that's one of the most positive um, omens you can see in terms of your financial wealth and your um, professional wealth. Uh, the Seven of Pentacles is an interesting card. Sevens are cycle changes, of course. We're in the middle of the cycle change. Uh, and, and this one, it's the, the picture's done so well because you see this accumulation of wealth, all these seven pentacles. But he's looking at it kind of like, well, when are you going to fall off the branches so I can pick them up? It's kind of the same way that we know we've invested. We know that things are coming, but it hasn't yet materialized. And it's and we we're kind of waiting when we can see it coming. It's almost like if you're getting a refund from the IRS and you know, you know it's coming, but where is it, right? Same, same type of thing. Uh, the Eight of uh, Pentacles is such a positive card, especially for people who are artists or musicians or creatives in some way, artisans, because it just shows that you've really accumulated level a level of mastery in your profession. And, and you see how these pentacles go up the wall. It's almost like if they were plaques on a wall, you know, chronicling your credentials. It's just showing mastery of your craft. And it's a very positive card for ensuring that person keep going with their endeavors. This is a, you've invested and you've done well and you, you're getting better and better at it. Keep doing it. If you see this next to the hangman, um, 
it's really positive for a, a possible opportunity coming very soon and something you'll have to think through. So imagine someone has built a business and then someone comes in and wants to buy that business. And so they've invested so much in getting into the business, it's made it appealing to others, but then they have to make the decision. Do I keep this business or take the money? What am I going to do? So it has that feeling of a decision will have to be made as well, even though you're stepping up no matter what you do. The Nine of Pentacles is very positive for the feminine piece of abundance. So um, it can mean good things for fertility and, you know, um, purchasing power, things of that nature. Next to the emperor, and this signals also that you could be getting into a situation that you're going to really want to think through, uh, that you'll, you'll be benefiting. But it's sort of a a step up from the eight of pentacles where it was that similar flavor, like something could be happening here. Uh, if you see this with, the, again, the emperor, it means you're probably going to get offered something and it will be very lucrative and interesting, but probably some heavy responsibility goes with it and you really want to think it through. And of course, we all want to see this in our in our spreads because this is like money. This is money's rolling in. It's a 10 of pentacles, money, money, money. And paired with different cars, the world, the wheel, the sun, I mean, and other tens can really indicate the, the how intense uh, the money will be. But this is a great card you want to see for money. And here we go with uh, the king of pentacles, uh, again, a person or a vibration. Now, again, I'm sort of pairing it with astrology to make the point, but I don't typically do this when I read for myself, but this is really earth energy. You know, the Taurus, the Capricorns, the Virgo it has that solid, earthly, grounded, methodical energy to it. So, I mean, this person could be a parent or someone that you could be in love with, but it could be your banker. You know, it could be someone who controls the money in your life or manages it with you. And the Knight of Pentacles, the same thing, this methodical, trustworthy person who's very grounded and thoughtful, um, and they can help you in some way in your life, or it could be someone that you're interested in or have a friendship with or someone you work with. Page of Pentacles, if I were to see this in my spread, I know money is coming in the mail. Now, in this day and age, money doesn't come in the mail very often. It comes via... <laughs> electronic transfer, but this does indicate money coming in to you, being sent to you from someone. So this is a very good sign. If it was a person, then it, it would just be someone, a young person, a child or a teenager, someone youthful um, who maybe they owe you money or you're going to do, you know, or they just have that Virgo Taurus personality. Uh, but that's how you'll sort through that person in your life. The Queen of Pentacles, again, she's very thoughtful, and maybe she's the female banker at your bank, or maybe it's your mom and she's helping you with money, or maybe it's just someone who's giving you sound practical advice. Um, but again, the essence of thoughtfulness, methodical nature, and who's acting in your interest. All right, so now we'll finish up with the with the swords.